No discussion of breastfeeding would be complete without some discussion of those challenges that many moms face. Most of those challenges, with few exceptions, can be easily overcome. The one that I probably hear most often from moms over my career are concerns about pain and discussions about breastfeeding hurting. And I think it's important for all moms to understand that pain is, is very different for each individual. If I have a mother telling me that breastfeeding is painful, my first question to her is, please describe that pain for me. Uh, some moms will describe something as painful, while other moms will describe it as uncomfortable, will describe it as a tugging sensation, as a pulling sensation. So every mom's perception of pain is different. But I will acknowledge that many mothers tell me that breastfeeding hurts when they first start to breastfeed their babies. And I am always respectful of what moms tell me. And I want all moms to understand that for mothers who say breastfeeding hurts, what they're describing is what happens to the breast when babies first latch on. And the pain that they communicate is really pain that lasts a few seconds. It's at the start of a feeding. It's related to this breast stretching out and filling up a baby's mouth. But once that breast is where it belongs, once that baby is latched on well and that mouth is filled with breast, then the pain stops. And I frequently will say to dads that watch your partner. She'll grow three inches when that baby latches on, sort of that ouch, 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 and then she'll shrink right back down as soon as that breast gets where it belongs. So pain is very short-lived, only for a few seconds, only at the start of a feeding, and it's only for those first few days, maybe for the first couple of weeks. Once a mother gets accustomed to that sensation, once a baby learns to latch on well, and a mother learns to position a baby well to facilitate that latch, then the pain goes away, and the mothers don't experience even pain with latch on after that. I would tell my friend about breastfeeding that it's going to be painful, and it's gonna hurt, and you're just gonna have to get through that first week because just as fast as it hurts, it goes away. I wanted to stop so much. <laughs> I never wanted to keep going, especially with the pain that I was dealing with with mastitis and my clogged duct and my clogged gland. It was a very hard experience for me, but I just, the way that my daughter would look at me or she was just so satisfied doing breastfeeding and nursing with me. I just wouldn't have wanted to break that bond because of the pain I was feeling. I think I, it was manageable pain. I could manage that. Other barriers that mothers frequently report are barriers related to returning to work, breastfeeding in public, feeling somewhat restricted, feeling that it's something someone else can't do. I'm not here to tell you all what the solutions are to every barrier you encounter, but I am here to tell you that there's not a single barrier, a single challenge that can't be managed and a baby continue to breastfeed. Um, whether it's work or school or being in public, a mother needing surgery, a mother needing to take a particular medication, we can pretty much manage everything. Sometimes the worst case scenario may be that we have to interrupt breastfeeding you know, for a day or two while a mother has a particular test done or something of that nature or a surgery performed. But the bottom line is that if breastfeeding is important to you, if breastfeeding is something that you want to give to your baby as that ultimate gift for life, then know that every challenge, every barrier can be managed. There is a solution. You just need to let those people that are available to you help you find that solution. And there are lots of resources. You simply need to know who they are and how to go about seeking them out. Uh, whether it be the WIC peer counselor or a member of the WIC staff in your WIC agency, whether it be the nutritionist or the nurse or the skilled uh, international board certified lactation consultant in your community. There are many physicians um, midwives, nurse practitioners, healthcare providers that have lots of breastfeeding knowledge and expertise. 
There's your next door neighbor that breastfed two and three and four children and every one of them for a year or more and encountered everything that you're encountering and solved all of those problems and is more than happy to share her solutions with you. So know that there's help out there. Know that every barrier can be met. Know that every challenge can be overcome, but you need to let us know when you need help and know that, that, that you're not in this alone, that it really takes a team effort sometimes for moms and babies to breastfeed. I think that advice that I pass on to my best friend about breastfeeding would definitely be not to give up because if they're having troubles latching on for one day, it doesn't mean they're going to be the same the next day because breastfeeding is all up in the air. You kind of have to go by what your child really wants to do and you have to be patient with it. So if you have to pump for a day, you have to pump for a day, but not you have to be consistent with it. My advice to my friend would be to you know, make sure all your questions are answered beforehand um, and that you just do enough inner preparation and make sure you're relaxed and positive about the experience.